Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is an Operation Christmas Child shoebox unboxing and I hope it inspires you with ideas for packing your own shoeboxes. But if you're new here or new to OCC and you've never packed a shoebox before, I hope this inspires you to pack one this year and if you need more information about OCC, I always leave links in the description below. So if you're not already subscribed, consider subscribing and joining this fantastic OCC family. This box has a Blue's Clues theme and it's for a little girl in the two to four age group. I decorated the lid of the box with some packaging of toys that I placed inside and I did the same thing with the inside of the lid. I just spray glued it inside. I added a little, little construction paper grass. To, it kind of ended abruptly, uh, so I added the grass and I wrote, God loves you. So save your packaging because you can decorate your boxes with it. When she opens her shoe box, this is what she will see. This one has, of course, the blue stuffy in it and blue is a girl which i found out I, I always thought blue was a boy but blue is a girl and she came with a board book on clearance at uh, kohl's for two dollars and seventy cents and she is a really great size and super soft and cuddly While I was at Kohl's, I picked up a Blue's Clues t-shirt that was on clearance. It has Blue and uh, Blue's friend Magenta on it. And it's a size 4T. It was like, I don't know, it was on clearance for five something, but um, I think I had a coupon at the time and I only paid $3.63 for the t-shirt. I paired the t-shirt with these jeans that I found last year at Old Navy. They're called Ballerina Jeggings and the hem has this scalloped embroidered design on it. I actually picked up two of these because they were regularly $24.99 on clearance for $7.99 but with my Gap Cash that I used on it, I only paid seven cents for both pairs of jeans. Seven cents each, yeah. They're in a 4T. I am intentionally leaving the tag on these because they are such a faded wash that I don't want them to think that they are old or used. I'm gonna go ahead and take out her spiral notebook that she'll have from when she starts school, 10 cents from Walmart. I purchased that last year when they were clearing out. And then her pencil pouch is also blue. And uh, in it, I put what I put typically in, in all my um, pencil pouches, an assortment of pencils. I think there's eight in there, a uh, multicolored lead pencil, a couple of washable markers, a uh, enclosed pencil sharpener, several erasers, and a blunt tip scissors. So she'll be ready to go when she starts school. I also included this um, foldable tote. This is what it looks like when it's opened up, but it folds down into this nice thin pack that fits nicely in a shoebox. And it has these, well, I would normally call these like hot pink, but for the purposes of this box, we're gonna call it magenta uh, because it's a Blue's Clues box. So she's got that and she also has a magenta cap or beanie and matching gloves. I also got these on clearance at Walmart for a quarter, bought a bunch of these. And the gloves came in a two pack with another color uh, pair of gloves uh, for a quarter. 
So I thought those went well with her outfit. I added a magenta hair bow as a clip on the back. This was a quarter from Dollar General, I believe. Yes, Dollar General. At the same time I bought that, I bought this set of collectible Blue's Clues figures. Um, we have Blue and Blue's friend Magenta. And we have Steve, their friend Steve. And, uh, oops, sorry, Blue. And of course we have Pale. That's the name of this character, Pale. With the toy plush of Blue came this board book, nice thick board book, World of Colors. And it is very colorful and has all the Blue's Clues characters in it, teaches the colors, and I thought it was adorable. So she's got uh, the board book that goes with Blue. She has a couple of pairs of underwear. These are Kindy Kids from Walmart on clearance. And a couple of pairs of socks. Uh, black with blue, and this actually has a pretty little lurex on the ankle. And this pair I thought was perfect for this box. It has blue paw prints, uh, I'm sorry, pink paw prints and blue bones. Those were both on clearance at Walmart. She has a bandana, a blue bandana with snowflakes on it, 10 cents from Walmart on clearance and a blue soft washcloth. I get these on Amazon. She has a soap dish with a bar of soap and I added a couple of pairs of barrettes, a magenta pair with a little scalloped edge on them, and a sparkly blue Pair with silver resin stars. She has a little blue trinket box shaped like a heart and I tucked inside a little daisy ring, a little plastic ring and a bracelet with heart-shaped beads. She has a couple of noisemakers in here, a maraca and castanets, and these are Paw Patrol. Um, not Blue's Clues, but they are dogs, and I figure they must be friends somewhere in the world of animation. <laughs> the puzzle that I gave her is blue, and it's a shaped puzzle. This is what it looks like when it's made. It's shaped like a star. And it's 24 pieces, and I got this at the Dollar Tree. I love the Dollar Tree puzzles, and I love giving puzzles to these kids because they're a lot of fun and they're educational as well. She has a, a ball and a coloring book with Blue and magenta on the cover, Blue's Clues coloring book. Got that from the Dollar Tree. A uh, jumbo pack of eight crayons. I get those from Walmart for 67 cents. She has an assortment of stickers, animal stickers. She has a couple of hair combs a magenta necklace, a magenta and blue toothbrush, and a letter from me with a photo inside addressed to beautiful child. That completes the Blue's Clues 2-4 to four Girl Shoe Box. 
I hope you enjoyed it and got some ideas and inspiration for your shoe boxes. Thanks so much for watching today. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will catch you in my next video. Bye now.